What's up my West Coast players and my East Coast thugs? Let's do the next section. 7-2. Ratios and similar polygons. First thing you need to know is the term similar. Okay? Now last last time we talked about proportions, how I talked about stuff measures up, it compares. I really was jumping ahead and saying that's similar, okay? Similar is whenever something is like a smaller version of something else. Or a bigger version, obviously. All right, like uh, the example I used last section was in Austin Powers. You got Mini Me, and then you got Doctor Evil. Mini Me is exactly one eighth Doctor Evil size and comparable in every way. That's so they say. Okay, so that is a smaller version. They are similar. It's like the same, but a similar version. Okay, that didn't make sense. I just said this term in there. It's the same, but just in a different size. Okay. Um, let's talk about similar polygons. It means the angles are all going to be the exact same, but the sides are going to be similar. They're going to have a proportion or a ratio, okay? If this side matches up with this side, and this is like one-eighth of this size, well, then these two sides are going to match up, and it's going to be one-eighth this size, and one-eighth this size, one-eighth this size. You probably need a picture instead of me just doing my arms weird ways, okay? So let's do a problem, okay? I'm going to have to hold my book up because I don't want to turn around 50 times. Go back and delete the thing, this part right here, okay? Because you're just writing out the problem. All right, children and adults, uh, I magically put this on the board. I'm not a cadaver. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to match up all the angles and we're going to match up all the sides and we're going to show you the similarity ratio and we're going to give you the similarity statement. Okay. So I'm going to pretty much hit you up with everything you need to know to be successful in life. I think it's what it comes down to. First thing let's do is match up the angles. Okay. Can you still see this? Yeah. Okay. Let's match up angle R. Okay. Now, match up with angle R, it's got one mark. The angles are going to be equal when they're similar. This, if this is 30, this is going to be 30, okay? They're going to be the exact same. They're not similar. They're not a proportion. They are the exact same. So R matches up with angle Z. Let's do the second one. Q matches up with, it's got two dashes. It matches up with the Y has two. S has nothing there, but we know it's there. You can see it creeping in the back. It's X, okay? So I've already matched up all the angles. Now, just off this, I can do my side measures and I can do my similarity statement. Okay, so let's do side measures first. Now, all I have to do is I can find these sides, QS, I know it goes from the two dash to the blank, so I know two dash to the blank. That's how I could match it up. I do that. Or you can just look up here. Okay, RQ has got to match up with ZY. Now, when you do that, if R matches up with Z, which it does, you got to put them both first. You got to put the other one second, okay? You can't just mix these up. They have to match up. If they're first, they both have to be first. If they're second, they both got to be second. All right, let's do QS matches up with YX, and then we'll go SR matches up with XZ. Now, those are all my matchings, okay? Now, say I want to write the similarity statement. That's telling me what triangles match up. From this statement, you can tell what matches up with what, okay? I'm just going to go straight down this way because I'm going to use these angles. R, Q, S, Z, Y, X. Now, here's the deal. If R goes first here, it has to match up with Z. Q is second, it has to match up with Y, and the same for S and X. They have to match up with what they are congruent to as far as angles go, okay? Does that make sense? They have to match up. I don't have to put R and Z first. I can put them at the back of the back of the line, but they have to be in the same spot. If one of them's third, the other has to be third. If one's second, one has to be second. Okay. Now, last step. Let's find the similarity ratio. Okay. That's the ratio that these things compare. I'm just going to pick two sides. Let's pick RQ and ZY. Or is, yeah. Okay. So RQ is 18. ZY is 12. 
We're reducing, let's see, I'm going to put it up here. RQ over ZY. A lot of times they like it when you do this. RQ over ZY, 18 over 12, that reduces to 3 over 2. Okay, let's do this one right here. QS, 9 over YX, 6, that reduces to 3 over 2. Notice in a pattern? I think you should. All right, and then SR is 13.5 over XZ, which is 9. And that's guess what? Going to be 3 over 2. That's our similarity ratio, okay? Similarity statement, that's an answer you have to find. Similarity ratio, that's something you have to find. And uh, where's Waldo? That's something else you have to find, okay? Now, that's it, the end. <laughs>